One of the questions I get asked a lot is how can I spice up a track to make it more interesting or exciting? And one of the age old tricks is to add different percussion elements. So if we have a track and you know we have like a recorded drum set or program drum, sometimes you know adding different percussion elements can really bring a track to life. Now in the full version of Groove Agent 4, uh, there is a specific agent that could really help with this, and it's called the percussion agent. Now, this agent isn't available in the SE version that comes with Cubase, but only in the full Groove Agent 4. So when I wanted to, I could select Agent 1 here, and then I'm going to load a kit with patterns, and we're going to select our from our percussion agent. And I'll just choose, just randomly choose one, or Disco Craze. Now, as I do this, we could look at all of our different percussion instruments here that are laid out for us. So these have been meticulously sampled. But what's great is you have a tremendous amount of control. So if I wanted to come here and if I select my wind chimes, at this point I could, for each element that's selected, I could adjust the amount of room mics, tuning, attack, hold, decay for each of the selected sources directly here. So I can really kind of tweak the sound. So I have my hand claps, timbales, different cowbells, shakers, wind chimes, congas, bongos. So all these different types of percussion instruments, you could tweak the individual sounds. Now, one of the things that's tricky is not only just having that library of sounds that's instantly accessible as instrument pads that we could play, but having authentic patterns. So each of those presets that you saw can actually have built-in patterns. And these patterns will automatically synchronize with the tempo. So if you've done a tempo detection or have a tempo map, you could just have this automatically speed up and slow down with your project. So I'm going to just go ahead, select a pattern, and we'll hit play. And we could kind of listen to this. Now we can kind of break this down. So I'm going to just come here. And we can start off with bongos. Now we have some controls over each of these percussion elements here. So I could add different levels of complexity. I could also randomize. So it's gonna go between those different levels of complexity. Or we could also come here and have an intensity so kind of the, your intensity of that. I could have it play back half time or double time. You could also have a groove offset. So if you say, okay, I want this to be on the end of two and a swing for each of these different components. So I could add back these different programs. And if I wanted to add, let's say another bongo, I could just come here, add a different source, and we'll say bongo two. So let's say I just wanted these to be randomized so that they're not playing back the same pattern all the time. So we could do that. Now, if I wanted to actually edit this particular pattern, I could actually click here within, once the pattern is selected, go to edit, and we'll see there are style here. And I'm going to actually convert this into MIDI. And now I could actually just simply draw in additional hits here as I see fit and add to that pattern. So now the beauty of this, as I mentioned before, is it's automatically synchronized with your particular project. So if I wanted to come here, let's play back the project without any of the uh, percussion components. So we're gonna have a nice groove here. So we'll have it start. Now one of the great things is I could just hit play and that will play back in sync. But there's also a follow transport command. So right here on Groove Agent, I can now just follow the transport. And now when I hit play, Groove Agent is automatically going to follow. And let me just 
kind of tweak the pattern here a little bit. We'll randomize this. So if I wanted to create a little more interest rhythmically, you could kind of bring it in and out of the mix. Again, if I stop without that, you just hear how much better it sounds with the percussion. Now, one of the great things is Groove Agent also has the ability to record the information. So I have a MIDI track here, and I've set up my Groove Agent as the MIDI input. So all I have to do now is when I hit play is to place this track into record. And now even all of my different random elements will now be recorded directly as MIDI information back into Cubase. So when I hit stop, I can now look at my MIDI data, and one of the handy things is I could actually, we're gonna come here and we'll go to our drum map, and once we have this done, we can now just double click and I could see all of my percussion elements as MIDI information directly here that's been recorded. So as you can see, adding the Groove Agent 4's percussion agent can really make a big difference in spicing up your different tracks to add more interest and excitement to your production. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.